we are Penny Pack Park. Today is a great day for we almost hit the 90s. I like hot weather. Uh, if you like hot weather, let me know in the comments, right? I like it hot. Um, so today is uh, an extremely warm day here in Philadelphia. And what we're going to do today is we're going on a scoop. I'm going to go to Pine Road, which is six miles in this direction, right? Six miles in this direction. And uh, the scooter does not go, it doesn't take me 12 miles. We're doing nine miles an hour. And it's kind of, it's not an easy scoot. It's not a beginning level scoot because you, the, the trail is not paved evenly. And you can, you can eat it. I think, have I eaten it here? I don't think I have. It's a Thursday afternoon. Oh, look at this guy. Dog walking Doug. This guy. There we are. You know what I noticed when uh, I've been I've been doing the ride for about five minutes since I last had the camera on, and uh, I passed about I don't know, six people. Everybody's walking with the uh, with the phone speaker on. Nobody does the headphones anymore. I guess it's probably better for your health, for your ear health. But I don't know, kind of ignorant, you know? Just like. Uh, the other day I was on the uh, on the L, and somebody had their um, they were listening to the uh, the phone while well, we were like sitting close to me. So we're like I, which means I was listening to what he was listening to. It's a, uh, I don't know. And then the worst people in the world. I don't know if you know about these people, Bluetooth speaker people, like I don't know. They just, they just have a Bluetooth speaker and they have a connected. And, like, they're not even at the beach. They're just, like... Like, it's not even people at this park. There'll be people, like, uh... Um... I don't know, walking through Center City. Uh, uh-oh. Let's see. Right. So, it's early May, and I can't believe people are already swimming in the creek. Just so you know, in Philadelphia... We don't say creek, we say crick. You may hear me say that. You know, whatever. There's some roots, there's some trees, there's some dirt. Let's get back on the trail. All right, so this is where I always screw up. <sighs> Do I go this way or this way? It's I'm five miles till the first end. There's another cool little bridge. Uh, uh, I don't know. Did I choose poorly or did I choose wisely? And if you know what movie, let me know in the comments. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what movie. So don't worry about it. I got five miles to get to uh, Pine Road. So let's get to Pine Road. Five miles. So I've gone... Uh... Where did I go? About six miles? No, I go on, I go on about, I, I did about a mile. Better uh, stop patting myself on the back and get to getting. I love this tunnel. Oh no, I think this is where I screw up. Oh. Yeah, I hope you're not watching this on smell -a vision They got a trash truck just sitting here. I guess they're uh, cleaning up uh, under here. They got some trash. Uh. All right. All right. How you doing, man? You guys doing a good job. Thank you, bud. Thank, Thank you. You. Going, you too. Let's go Phillies, right? Cleaning up that trash. Making the park look good. Huh? 
Uh oh. See, you gotta pay attention. Bumpy roads ahead. No, it's cool. It's not. Uh, it's not too natty out. There's not. There's not a lot of gnats. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. off-road scooting right there. Um, sometimes you. Uh, you. Uh, You'll come through here and you'll be flying around and there'll be nothing like gnats in your face. So that's uh, that stinks. Um, you know what else stinks? You know what happened to me the other day? I got stuck in line behind a lottery person who kept winning scratch offs. They do this thing now in uh, in the lottery things. You could do the scratch off tickets. You don't even have to play the game. All you got to do is just scratch off a little corner of the lottery ticket. And then it exposes a barcode, and then you uh, you find out, and then you, you go to a scanner, you scan the barcode, and uh, you, you find out if you're a winner or a loser. And the lady in front of me kept buying $50 lottery tickets. And uh, she wasn't even enjoying the game. She was just, uh, she was doing the, uh, just scratch and scanning, and she kept winning. And then she played like three or four games. And I said, are you playing $50 games? And she's like, yes, I can. Yes, I am. And, I, and then uh, she won again. And after the fourth win, I let out one of those sighs. And I did one of those eye rolls, you know, just let the cashier know, like, come on, cuz. You got two cash registers. I'm not here. I didn't, I didn't sign up to watch a game show. I Uh, I hate this part. It's just like where you you leave the park. Uh, you know, what? let me show you this. I'll take a few seconds. One of the great things about this park is you got this fantastic paved trail, but there are, I guess there are, there are probably hundreds of off the beaten path trails, and uh, some of these trails are made just for like uh, dirt bike, not dirt bike, not dirt bike, like motorcycle, like. You got it. You got one of those off-road, ten-speed bikes. What do they call? Them? We're about three miles away to the halfway point. Got plenty of battery left, but the thing is, the trail gets super hilly up here. A lot of ups and downs. What I do is when I get to these hill areas where we go downhill, I uh, oh shit. I turn off the battery. Oh, look at this. Oh, we're dead with the puppy. I'm using the foot brake. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, oh, it's so badly paid. Ah, God damn it. See, the thing that stinks is everything I go downhill means I got to go uphill on the way back. Yeah, I think this is one of the horse trails they have here at Honey Path Park. They used to, when I used to be a uh, when I used to be a kid, I guess that's proper English. When I used to be a kid, uh, my mom and dad every Saturday we would do like a family thing. And it wouldn't cost money. Like, it would, we would go walk around the mall. We would come to this park. We would go to Penn Treaty Park. Like, there was a, kind of a lot of the things I do now, now that I think about it. All the things I enjoy. I enjoy going to the malls. Hello, Scooter Friend. I enjoy going to the malls. I enjoy uh, coming to this park. This is one of my favorite places. So like, if I'm having a, rare, a bad day, I'll, I'll come here. I had the worst day in my life. A few years ago, I was going through some stuff, and uh, I um, I was going through this thing, and it was supposed to be over on on this one day, and it, it wasn't over. It continued. It was, the stressor kept continued for another few months, and my thing is, uh, I was so out of my mind. I was so angry. I had to come here to find. Uh, Serenity now. There was another time in 2020 
when uh, it was chaos and anarchy all over the city. And I was just in a bad mood. And I just wanted to get away from the world for about 12 hours. Uh, I just turned the phone off and I came here and I screamed at the crick. <laughs> What's going on with this world? Man, there's a lot of dirt on the trail. If you're a scooter rider, just know if you ever hit a pile of dirt, don't once once you go on that dirt, just either keep going straight or get the hell off the scooter. Don't don't try to swerve or you're you're gonna eat it. Man, this is beautiful. Yeah, I find I find tra tranquility here. Yeah, I think the letter Q. It just uh, uh, <laughs> you know what tongue twisters. The letter Q is a tongue twister for me. Anytime I try to use it in a word. Quilt. No, I'd say I could do that pretty good. And this is it. This is the end. Oh, shh. <laughs> Almost ate it at the end. This is it. Pine Road. We did it, hon. We made it. Over there is Fox Chase Farms. And Pine Road is closed. So this is cool. Ooh. All right. So we have to get back to Welsh Road, which is 6.9 miles this way. It took me an hour, an hour exactly. I have half the battery power left. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we, yeah, let's see if we could break a two hour time limit. It's never been done before because no one's ever done this before. But <laughs> let's see if we can do this in two hours. Hey, you know what? I, I would love to camp overnight in this park. You're not allowed to. But boy, it would it sure would be fun. Maybe uh maybe in the future we'll hunker down here. You're not real there's no legal camping spaces in the city of Philadelphia. There are some parks right outside of Philly that you can camp at. Let's cross this bridge. So I have, I have something horrible happen to me. I have the song Allentown by Billy Joel. I can't get the song out of my head. And um, I, don't, I don't even think I like the song. It's just like, there's so many different catchy parts. I, I, I just can't get it out of my head. And, and I, I gotta get, does anybody have a tip on how to get a song out of your head? Because I tried to listen to other music to try to get other songs in my head. Um, and uh, yeah, riding a bike while wearing a mask, just, I guess. I mean, maybe, yeah, no, never mind. I, nah. See, I got to get the, I got to get Billy Joel Allentown out of my head. Yeah, and here was that steep hill he got that. Uh, I feel like this is about 45 degrees up. I know it's not, but it really feels like it. Yeah, this thing's pretty steep, especially up here. Uh-oh. I just thought he could fall over right here. Cliffhanger. You ever see that movie? You know what's funny? I bet you after people saw Cliffhanger, 
I bet people tried to start cliffhanging, like start rock climbing. And that movie had the opposite effect on me. I think I got a fear of heights from that. Oh. The good news is, what goes up must come down. walking up this steep hill and I just noticed the next to last battery bar is flashing which means I think there's like four miles left about two and a half miles to go I am down to the last cell of battery so I'm definitely going to have to walk at least a mile and a half which is fine no big deal Less than a mile to go. We are now kick scooting. And uh, I don't recommend kick scooting with uh, flip flops. It stinks. So I'm sort of kicking and walking and. Ah. A lot of. A lot of young kids with the knack tattoos. That's what I'm seeing when I'm walking through the woods. A lot of knack tattoos. That's a, that's a weird one. Same thing with face tattoos. And I think this is the final leg over this bridge. And this is where we park the car. And we'll here at Penny Pack Park. We did it, hon. Let's see how long it took us. One hour, 59 minutes, and 35 seconds. We did it, hon. Ugh. There's a lot of people ha coming down here to party. So it's time for me to get the hell out of here. Can't think of a better way to spend my day when it's above 80 degrees than explore Penny Pack Park. Uh, if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch, it's fire. Get yourself a Philly Captain t-shirt. Uh, if you want to, you can click that join button and get access to all my live streams. And uh, you can help me out, sign up for Patreon, or book me on Cameo. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Toodles!